Welcome to the Phoenix Skills Hub, your number one stop for video drawing tutorials. Find even more drawing tips inside the pages of the Phoenix comic along with great stories and more. Hi, I'm Rob Dees and I'm back with the second part of my How to Draw Fawn series. Be sure to check out part one if you haven't done so already. Last time, we focused on Fawn's face and the building blocks for the rest of the body. Today, we're going to use those building blocks to draw her outfit. Let's get started. First, we're just going to add a few more building blocks. Draw two ovals just below Fawn's neckline, roughly in line with her ears. Now add guidelines between the ovals. These will really help us in a moment. Because I work on a computer, I'm going to turn the opacity down on my building blocks to make them fainter and then create a new layer for my final lines. If you're using pencil and paper, then either draw your building blocks really lightly and erase them later, or overlay a second piece of paper over your guides and draw over them to save rubbing out. On to the final drawing. Let's start on Fawn's fur cape by using chunky curved points just outside of our building blocks. Draw some more fur from the edge of Fawn's arm to the ovals we just drew. Now, draw over the ovals. These will become brooches, holding Fawn's cape in place. Add a furry collar and the rest of the fur cape behind her, making sure it looks like it's blowing in the wind. Add texture to your fur by drawing curved flicks. Now, draw in Fawn's tunic. Add a collar and some curved lines for creases and folds. We're going to use those curved guides we drew just a moment ago to help us place a linking chain between the brooches. Add two more chains below the one you just drew. There should be three in total. Follow the building blocks to draw some wrist guards and add some fur cuffs. Now let's focus in on the hands. Follow your guides for the hands, but don't trace over them. We don't want her final fingers to look like sausages. Use angled strokes, picking out the joints of the fingers. Repeat this process for the other hand, but this time add a jagged line for the knuckles as well. Next, add the belt, buckle and three flowing lines for the belt strap. Draw the strap going through the buckle and then join up the ends with triangular lines. Now, add a fur skirt using the exact same technique as we did with the cape. Flesh out the leg with angled strokes, add fur boot cuffs and then draw in the boot and feet. Finish things off with some extra detailing such as armbands, finger tape and boot straps. Which brings us to the end of this video. Check out part 3 of my How to Draw Fawn series where I'll be covering Fawn's axe, Gaia's Fury. If you enjoyed this video and you're watching on YouTube, why not give us a like and for even more How to Draw tutorials, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Till next time. For even more drawing tips, along with great stories and more, why not grab a subscription to the Phoenix comic by checking out the link in the description.